Hey guys, I have the Osaka cold brew coffee maker. This is a cute little cold brew coffee maker that's just in the glass and it has like a little reservoir where you put all the coffee in, let it sit overnight. It's going to make your coffee, gonna make your coffee overnight into the next day. So we're going to make this. It is, set, it's about to be seven o'clock at night right now. So we'll check it again at, you know, after seven and see what it looks like. Um, it should be ready by then. If not, we can wait until the next day and it'll be nice. Um, and ready we're gonna see how this works out I really can't wait to try this I've been wanting one of these for a while now because I like cold brew coffee add a little bit of your favorite creamer and then you can just keep it in here here it is guys it's super cute it's perfect uh, for anybody to use this it looks like it has an extra stopper for right here to keep with you it's got this little um, piece right here for you to make this to seal it off and close it out. Then you have the other little extra stopper. And here's the reservoir. This is where the coffee actually goes. Or tea. You can actually use this for tea as well. Pop it in there. Seal it off. Make sure it's good and ready. It's made out of nice um, glass. Pop this in the fridge and then wait overnight. I love that these little rubber pieces do come off. So, um, you know, things like this, they usually get like all kinds of gunk behind them. So you'll be able to clear that off and reposition it perfectly and around the glass top piece. So there's no plastic in this. These are all like silicone around here for the little stoppers and the rest of it's glass and the metal for the reservoir. This actually has like a little spout piece to it. So when you pour it, it will drip down instead of all over. Put the serving size in the in the, I'm gonna put the serving size in the filter and then I'm going to put just a little bit of water over it it says to do the blooming process and then from there we fill it up with water. All right, so we put some water in there. We gotta let it sit for about five minutes and then we'll fill it up the rest of the ways with water and we can go from there and let it sit. Right, fill it up the rest of the way with cough, uh, with water. It says to fill it like right below the spout um, at most. So that's where I put it. I'm going to seal it off with the little stoppers and wait overnight. It's already pretty dark, so hopefully this turns out. They said to kind of play around with the time frame. So like I said, when I try this in the morning, that will be um, 12 over 12 hours by then. So it should be fine for me. Can't wait to try this cold brew coffee and add my favorite creamer to it. And I just love the way this looks. So we have one spout, top that off. And then I love how they made this glass for the top and just push that all down into it to seal it nice and tight. And then we wait until the morning.